بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. It's uh, my name is Salim Muhammad Bilal Butler. Uh, my given name is James Butler. I was um, born in uh, Christchurch, New Zealand. My father was in the Air Force as a squadron leader, so we had to uh, move around the country a bit. Um, yeah, so we ended up in uh, Titahi Bay, which is a great place to grow up, and had a Christian upbringing, uh, which is the usual for New Zealand. Uh, my father was Catholic and my mother is, uh, was Baptist, or Christian in one way or another. Uh, so that, that was a good upbringing. I had a lot of fun through that, youth groups and everything. Um, family life was really good and placid and calm, a very, very lovely family. And um, as I grew, grew older, I started having a few more questions as to what and where we came from, and mainly the question in regards to Prophet Isa, which is uh, Jesus in Christian terms, as to his uh, crucifixion. That was the main question, which I think a lot of Muslims online uh, I've listened to have had the same question. Um, so as I grew older and started getting out of the workforce, those questions became bigger. And then one day I went around to see a friend of mine to have a few beers, because I was a non-Muslim at that stage, just for the record. Um, and he had uh, reverted to Islam, alhamdulillah, so uh, to my shock. And uh, so I asked him quite a few questions about things and watched him do his prayer, which instantly brought tears to my eyes because watching uh, a, f a friend I had gone uh, out and womanized with, um, not with him but with uh, uh, ladies, <laughs> um, uh, reciting Arabic was just amazing. And Arabic is the most beautiful, beautiful uh, language to listen to. So uh, after about two weeks of learning and asking questions which were, I think, too many for the poor guy to, to, to answer, but he did his best, I reverted to Islam. So I've been a Muslim for about just under 10 years now. And um, good, yeah, I've learned bits of Arabic um, and can uh, recite my prayers in Arabic, alhamdulillah. And I'm now married to a lovely uh, uh, Malaysian Muslim and have a six-year-old boy, Elias. Um, when I was growing up, Islam wasn't really around New Zealand much at all. It was, you didn't, you, all I knew about Islam was uh, camels, uh, sand, and people going, ah, all the time. So, and I'm not meaning to joke about that, but like, that's all I knew. That's how ignorant most of us Kiwis were at that stage. Of course, Islam is a lot more prominent now in New Zealand, alhamdulillah, and people are a lot more understanding towards it. But in the, being Christian uh, at the time, or at least thinking I was, um, the people I worked, uh, went to church with, they were absolutely lovely people. It was a Baptist church I went to, they were very nice people, very good, understanding people, not judgmental. I found the church really wonderful. They used to do a lot of hymns and, and that, but I didn't really learn much from it. No disrespect on the religion themselves or the people. But um, I find with Islam, you can ask questions, you get sound answers. And I found even with reading the Bible, both the Old Testament and the New Testament, there's a lot of contradictions. There's no disrespect on that book either when I say that. Um, I just found too many things not right with one book to the other and things missing from one book from the other and it shouldn't be like that like with the Quran. It is the same from the day it was, it was first written. I went and took my father out uh, into Pyro into a mall to tell him because I was so frightened about his out outcome, uh, what he'll be thinking because you know in our generation you, you respect your parents and you don't want to upset them so me being the colourful person when I was growing up I used to be a rust afraid in one day and in heavy metal the next so um, telling him that I'd become a Muslim was a pretty big thing so when I told him he just laughed and which also made me almost cry because I was shocked that he would be, be so rude to me but he laughed because he was saying he said to me, I'm happy that at least one of my five children is still religious and believes in God. And I was like, oh, do you know who Allah is? And he goes, yes, Allah means one God. And I was just shocked. So, um, and he just accepted me from that point onwards. My mother took a little bit longer, but she accepted me. And the way that they accepted me the most is by, with Islam, being, uh, Islam being um, a way of life, what you practice is what you preach. So in a way, so like, with the, I became more loving, understanding, I got myself out of debt, I was gambling, I lost $30,000 worth of money, um, got out of gambling, 
stop drinking drugs, the whole lot of it, and um, they could see the improvements. And then they started asking questions about what Islam is about and, and realised that it wasn't actually such a horrible religion after all and how close it was to Christianity in a lot of ways too, which is what they could only base it from. So, yeah, so they, they, uh, they accepted me and my family took a bit longer too, but um, they didn't not like me during that process. They, they still respected me, but as you become something you tend to preach a lot about it, you know, so like when I first became a Muslim I wanted the whole world to become Muslim, so um, so I had to sort of tone it down a bit and let people come to me and ask questions, which is what they do now. Had Islam not come my way, um, I would probably either be dead or I would have been um, arrested or uh, whatever, I was going down a very bad path and um, yeah, it makes me sad thinking about it. But looking at what things are now, I'm so very grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to, to be uh, given the opportunity to help others and to become a Muslim, to get myself back on solid ground again. Um, Islam is the most beautiful religion and most religions are very beautiful but Islam is the true religion and there is nothing incorrect with Islam at all. Uh, so had I have um, carried on down that path, I, uh, I wouldn't be around today. I know that because um, I was feeling very, very sad all the time, very depressed. Now I'm on top of things and I know what I'm doing. I'm a business owner, homeowner. I would probably um, say to people, read the Quran. There is English versions or any version which has got, um, which has got uh, their language. Uh, go to a mosque, ask people, uh, ask people who practice it practice Islam and learn about it and that's I say to Muslims to go and to a synagogue or to a church and learn about their religions don't be ignorant to each other learn about it learn about each other you know don't be hatred don't feel anger towards each other we're, we're, we're brothers and sisters um, when I looked at the media before I was a Muslim I used to hate Islam only because I didn't understand it and that's what's happening the media don't portray what Islam is really about. I think the media and most people out there are scared of Islam based upon what the media feed them. But I've had many people come up to me and ask me, what is Islam? And I've explained to them and they've realised it's actually a very beautiful thing. And you know, and there are people who I know who have become Muslims because of that, alhamdulillah. So I would say ignore the media in some respects and go to somebody who practices the religion, whatever the religion may be, and learn about it. I would always say come to Islam because that is a true religion, but if you wish to learn about a religion, ask somebody about it. Ask somebody who practices it, not somebody who's trying to feed you wrongful information online. Islam can offer people uh, serenity, peace, tranquility, um, calmness, understanding, uh, wisdom. You can understand certain family morals. You can understand how to, how to treat women properly where in this day and age people are treating women horribly and in Islam women are put on a pedestal in a way because we respect them so much so for what they are and who they are more importantly. If you follow the Quran and the Sunnah you can't go wrong. That's all you need to do in Islam, follow the Quran and read the Quran and follow the Sunnah and Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And that's all you need to do. Watch what other families, ask them questions about how they run their lives and you can run your lives in the same 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 line. It's it's easy. Islam is so so easy. It is it's the easiest religion. Being a Kiwi Muslim is, is wonderful. Uh, I've had no issues whatsoever from anybody. People are very understanding and very yeah they don't have Kiwis in, in in total don't have any issues whatsoever about Muslims in New Zealand from what I can see. People aren't silly in New Zealand, they're very clever, you know, they understand, they read, they learn, they hear the media and then they go and find out for themselves what's, what's correct. And that's what I like about being a Kiwi Muslim. Um, I've had so much support, uh, even on the first day that I became a Muslim, when I went to do my first Jumma prayer, I stood beside Iraqians, Fijians, um, uh, Somalians, so many different people and it was the most beautiful time of my entire life other than becoming a Muslim and getting married. So it was, um, yeah, and that to me, these are the Kiwis that are surround me. Being a Muslim for the last 10 years of my life, my life has increased tenfold, uh, if not more. Uh, I'm now married, I've got a beautiful son Elias, uh, I've been 
touring around the, around the country to Malaysia four times. Um, I now work for myself. The reason why I'm saying these things and also being a homeowner is not to do with the materialistic side of it, it's to do with how much you achieve within your own heart and within your own soul when you become a Muslim. You are at peace finally in your heart. You know, when you grow up, your parents teach you certain, certain morals and, and those morals come back to you when you become a Muslim. When we get older, we tend to lose sight of that. Our family, family values are lost, especially in my culture. Uh, and not in all families, but some families. Islam gives you everything. There's nothing missed out in Islam. It's the most beautiful religion. I advise everybody to at least read the Quran for what it is. Don't listen to people when they say things out of text on certain surahs. Read the entire surah. Look, what it, look at what it means. Ask questions. Go to, go to a mosque. Ask imams questions. They're always there to open and help you. Um, please try and just learn about Islam. Don't be ignorant towards it, at least. And inshallah, become a Muslim. It's not, it's not a bad thing in your world and in your life. It's, it's beautiful. You know, um, I would never have thought that I'd become a Muslim. You know, I used to say I was a Christian. It makes me sad because you see outside these days, and I don't mean to be judgmental, but you see ladies are wearing less clothing now, yet they have a cross around their neck between their cleavage. And, and, and it's very sad because that's blasphemy. It's very bad. It's no disrespect on the religion of Christianity, but it's sad for that religion because they're allowing that to happen. Where in Islam, the women are asked to dress accordingly so that we look at them for who they are, not what they are. And that's in Christianity or so in other religions. People are looking at them for their bodies and getting lustful and everything, and it's very sad. Even men have hijab. We have to wear proper clothing, you know. So it's just very sad that people are going down the path that they are. Where Islam, it's not hard. People think there's so many restrictions in Islam, and it's not. You've got so much more to offer when you're a Muslim. <laughs> Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen